it was a study in which we uh, included six countries where we looked at patients who were treated with standard diabetes medications and then compared those who were started on SGLT2 medications versus other diabetic medications and were able to show a uh, greater 50% reduction in the composite endpoint of heart failure or all-cause death with a 50% reduction in mortality and about 40% reduction in hospitalization for heart failure. So pretty remarkable result uh, with the intention in a real-world population of treated patients and a broad population of diabetic patients, uh, over 80% of the patients did not even have baseline cardiovascular disease, so quite The thing that uh, we really wanted to see was whether uh, these new class of drugs demonstrated cardiovascular benefit, and I think it really confirmed the belief that we think that these drugs offer something beyond what we are doing. So as far as the surprise, I think that uh, the overall outcome is very consistent with the hypothesis that we had going forward. However, the magnitude of the effect was quite impressive. And you know, to see something that reduces that, uh, produces that kind of benefit across a broad population is pretty remarkable. Well, you know, this was a real-world study, so there's a lot of value in uh, being able to apply data from a real-world study to put into practice. So uh, this was a bunch of diabetic patients across a broad range. So the population was your standard diabetic patient that you're sitting there treating and it's sitting right in front of you in an exam table. And uh, the physician made the choice based on currently labeled therapeutics, so they really are making a choice based on what is the patient's uh, diabetic profile and then giving it to lower their blood sugar and, and offering them the current therapies. And it translated into, uh, in this study, proof cardiovascular outcomes. So the beauty of this study is it's very applicable to the decision making that a practitioner has to make when they're sitting in front of the patient. So I think uh, this really does fill a gap in understanding of how you apply clinical data in a real world setting.